You know, people like made in the USA, especially made in Silicon Valley, because this way they can come to see our facility, can come to see our product, and monitoring all the process, kind of uh, uh, test the system during our uh, design and building the product before we ship. So when we ship the product to customer, customer are pretty much 100 percent happy. So that's the advantage of uh, Silicon Valley. And most of our customers are kind of uh, really uh, picky customers. They want the best product. Not just the car can run fast, but fastest mm -hmm. and most safe and consume minimal gasoline. <laughs> that's where you're different from sports cars, because sports yes. cars consume a lot of gas. Though these days, with electric cars, you have more efficiency. I want to go back to exactly how much you're doing here, though, because I'm familiar with the campus where we're sitting on now. It used to be the headquarters of the San Jose Mercury News, where I worked as a young reporter, and it's a big piece of land. Yeah. What are you doing here? <laughs> you know, from design, uh, meditation, and integration, and we ship uh, the complete system or complete rack. We make the rack plug and play, ready to run right away. Uh, lots of our customers receive the rack, they just do the two things, plugging the power cable, plugging the data cable, and ready to run. Because we install optimum all the hardware, firmware, management tool, so it kind of makes customers' job much easier. Tell me about your relationship with NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang. Uh, you guys go way back. You've been um, known people in the chip industry for a long time. What was the evolution of the use of GPUs in the performance systems that you built? You know, sometimes it's uh, by chance. Both NVIDIA and Shifu Michael founded in 1993. So almost from day one, we know each other. And then we grow together. So uh, Jensen just shared the reality when he introduced the first AI machine. Indeed, Shifu Michael was the first company to make his chip ready for the market. Supermicro has faced accusations about its security before. I spoke this week with the CEO of a security company who's a longtime customer. He told me he had an independent audit done that convinced him that the gear is clean. So, can Supermicro continue to scale from here? Liang said he's confident his longtime industry friends can get him a lot more chips. Our partner, like NVIDIA, they continue to grow their capacity, and we are very happy to see their progress. And we believe they will support us much, much more cheap. So with that, I believe our growth can be a very strong in the next few years, especially this AI revolution. My personal feeling is it may be more powerful, more impact than two centuries ago, the industrial revolution. Industrial revolution help a lot, change a lot, but most are visible. But this AI revolution change a lot are visible, but lots of something are invisible. So I believe this AI technology still have a long way to grow. And we are really happy to see uh, this opportunity and continue to work with our partner on like NVIDIA as close as possible. Indeed, the good thing is that we, both company only about 15 minutes away. So we are able to work from early morning to midnight. Uh, that, that's why one of the reasons we are able to deliver a really uh, optimized solution.